So I have made a mistake. In an attempt to revitalize my old Game Jam series, I decided to put out a big challenge. Make a game without using sprites or anything related to sprites or the text object. Now these are the most common objects you use in Construct and outside of using a keyboard and a mouse and maybe an array, they're the objects that I use most when making Construct. So as a fun challenge I thought, why don't we take those tools away? So is it possible? Well, there are some objects that are still available that you can use. So you can still use stuff like particle effects and these give a very unusual sprite. You can actually make use of nine patch, which is a little bit cheaty because it's kind of doing the same thing as a sprite and a little bit of an oversight for myself, as is the sprite font, which gives you access to text without using the standard text box. You've also got some HTML elements like the progress bar, the slider bar, and the input box. And then finally, probably one of the most useful options that's left is the button. You can write text on it and you can click on it to do different actions. So is it possible to make a game by just using the remaining objects? Well, of course it is. The problem is it's not exactly fun. And that's the point of game jams. Game jams are supposed to be limiting, but they're meant to be fun and enjoyable. And by taking away the objects that people use most and expect them to cobble together these awful objects that do have their place in Construct, but not necessary to make a whole game, I've created something that's not the most enjoyable game jam, which a lot of comments called me out on. And please do call me out when I'm making challenges that are impossible or just not fun. With that said, I had two people who were mad enough to submit. So if you are curious, what could you actually make with the leftover objects? Let's have a look. Our first entry comes from Peter and it is called Spark Life. Now, this is a really, really fun take on the game Snake using particle effects. And the particle effects actually give a really great fun art style for this. If you're curious about the text at the start, that is using the sprite font. So again, no rules have been broken. And the aim of this game is to collect the yellow and orange orbs while avoiding the red and purple orbs. The game gets harder and faster and the music works really, really well for this one. This is a lot of fun. I do hope he puts it on itch so everybody else can play it, but I played this for quite a while. And I'm not very good at it, which is even worse, but a really great showing of what can be done with actually just a few random objects. And again, because the objects is used, especially the particle effects, it's a very different look of what a game could be using just standard sprites. Next entry comes from Ricky and this one is absolutely incredible. If you enjoy the TV show Friends, this is an entire game based around Friends and you start by going to see Gunther in the cafe and then, well, I'll let the game speak for itself. You ask for a coffee, but realize that you have lost your wallet. Gunther has a challenge for you. Visit the six friends and bring him an item from each one. The friends will set you riddles to obtain their items. Answer correctly and gain their item. Can you get enough of the items to appease Gunther and earn your coffee? You walk into the Ryle Florin office building. You are approached by Rachel. Her large bouncy hair seems to draw focus. She clears her throat and asks you a riddle. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body. What am I? I am a mother's child and a father's child but nobody's son. What am I? Joey is no better a fighter than he is an actor. You easily defeat him in combat. Now I'm not going to spoil the rest of the game. It is on itch. Play it for yourself. Truly incredible game. Just using buttons. So if you're looking at hosting your own game jam, Add in some sort of challenge, make it difficult, but at the end of the day, make it fun. So unlike my normal game gems where I ask you to vote, I don't want you to vote for your favourite. Instead, I just want you to fill the comments with lots of praises for Peter and Ricky for making just some fantastic games under the worst circumstances. And if you're hosting your own game jam, add that challenge, but think about is it fun first. And I'll see you in the next video.